we asked ourselves what the wealthiest area of Colombo looks like. So today we made our way all the way to Colombo 7, otherwise known as the Cinnamon Gardens, and want to show you guys around a little bit more of the wealthier side of Colombo. And we just briefly checked out um, Independence Square area, and they're not too fond of having people walking around and filming and stuff like that, which I suppose it's understandable. We did see quite a lot of tourists hanging around though. But yeah guys, today, as Naomi just said, we're in the Cinnamon Garden area of Colombo, otherwise known as Colombo 7. So for your guys' information, Colombo is sort of split up into different district areas. You have like Colombo 1 all the way up to like, I don't even know how far it goes to be honest. But we are in number 7 right now and we're very curious just to see how these people live because obviously Sri Lanka is going through quite a bit of struggle at the moment. There's a lot of local people that are down on their luck and they don't have a whole lot going for them. But with today, we just basically came here to show you guys how the other side lives and to kind of show you a little bit of the contrast, I guess, between the wealthier people and the not so wealthy people. So let's go. We're gonna, I think, start the day off by going and checking out a cafe, maybe grabbing some coffee. We'll see actually what the prices are like as well in comparison to a lot of the other places. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're gonna see. Yeah, but uh, we have marked off a couple of places on the map right now. We're currently trying to cross the road, but- um, oh, There's more coming. Oh, there's more coming. Let's go, let's go. Price comparisons, obviously Colombo 1 is kind of the most central area, but the thing is about Colombo 1, and Naomi was actually just saying this as well while we were walking, Colombo 1 seems to be the more new money of Sri Lanka. So you have, for example, a golf face green. You have uh, the one golf face mall, which is, to be honest, one of the coolest malls that we have even ever experienced. Um, and that's actually saying a lot because we've been traveling quite extensively now. We even went to see the new Avatar movie yesterday. Yeah. How was that experience? That was so cool. Oh my God. That was like one of the nicest experience because um, in the cinema itself, you have these like really, really cool um, chairs that kind of lean back into like a lounger slash bed type of thing. You even get blankets and so on. And uh, inside of the cinema, uh, there is like about, I want to say per showing room, maybe like 20 seats or something like that. So yeah. it's very small, very private. Um, but what I was saying to Luke earlier is Colombo 1 kind of looks like the new money of Sri Lanka because everything is like hyper modern, very, very cool to look at. But this area here, Colombo 7, looks a little bit more like the old money. So you have a lot of kind of older looking buildings um, that are really, really cool to look at with very nice architecture and everything just generally seems to be a little bit more on the money side of things, I want to say. You also have a lot of military bases. Yeah. We were walking in kind of, I don't even know to be honest what the street is called, but one of the entry points into Colombo 7 <laughs> and where we're staying at the moment, it's in an area called Colombo 4. Uh, which I believe is known as Bambala Pitya, and it's definitely not the same vibe as Colombo 7, even though they're very close. But Colombo 7 nonetheless looks very interesting. As I said, massive amounts of military bases, which is very cool. Um, it's also a little bit like, oh, you don't even know uh, if you're allowed to take out the camera. So we kind of didn't do that. But have a look at this. That's what I. That's what I mean with old money. Uh, you can see it's here since 1939 yeah. and the, the house looks absolutely pristine, very clean, very beautiful sort of grass area and everything and that's sort of what I mean with new money, old money. Yeah. This is old money. Yeah, 100%. We're gonna, um, I suppose I'll turn the camera, I'll keep the camera turned this way just to give you guys a little bit of an understanding for what this area is like. It's actually a lot more spread out as well than a lot of the central, like Colombo one is very kind of stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Like you have a lot of high rise buildings. You can probably see off like in the distance there, that would be the Colombo two area or Colombo one area. And it's all kind of like sky high, you know, commercial buildings and stuff like that. Whereas here, in Colombo 7, it's kind of lower buildings and they're very spread out. 
And it's very quiet as well. Yeah. If you go towards like Colombo 1, uh, it's obviously a lot of traffic. It's very loud. It's like the hustle and bustle of the city. And yeah. here it really seems like you can just walk relatively quiet in comparison to the other areas. And it, it's just really nice. It seems like it seems like a different city. Oh yeah, totally. It's very, very peaceful. That's one thing that I'll give Colombo 7 so far and that we've realized. Very peaceful and very private feeling as well. Nobody's Everywhere. honking. Yeah, nobody's honking. Like nobody's even honking their horn. If you go to Colombo 1 or even Colombo 4 where we're currently staying, wow. The roads are pretty hectic, uh, pretty crazy. People are honking. People are driving like maniacs. People are driving very civilized here. It's like people just turn into Colombo 7 and they just turn into something different. But, oh my God, look at this. It's a cricket academy. It's a cricket academy. I know you have the cricket grounds as well, which are a little bit back this way, but this is the CCC International Cricket Academy. Very interesting, very cool. And um, as you can probably tell, if you compare this particular video to our other Colombo videos. We have like a Colombo video where we're walking around Peta. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing because of the trees we keep The trees are very... <laughs> we keep having to bow down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're very low hanging trees. But um, we have a video where we're like walking around Peta and it literally looks like a different country. Like yeah. it doesn't even actually look like we're in the same uh, area at all no. as here even though it's only it's like 10 minutes away it's also very interesting that the cars here seem to be a lot larger so you all of a sudden you start seeing suvs yep. and like bigger sort of cars that you would see more expensive uh, yeah, cars more expensive cars and this like if you go to the other areas you see sort of a mixture of the old and the new yeah. but here it genuinely just seems like the old like the old money but like the new cars <laughs> Yeah, it's super, it's really, really interesting, guys. This is kind of the whole reason as well. Like I know we said it at the beginning, we just kind of want to show, we want to show our channel, the whole point, I guess, of our channel. It's we're obviously travel vloggers, I guess is what you could call us. But we want to show you the highs and the lows and um, the upper class, the middle class and the lower class of certain countries that we go to. A lot of the time, certain countries we go to, we mainly focus on the lower class because that's usually where the most interesting people are but today we're going to show you guys a little bit of the upper class side of colombo um, i'm sure that this is kind of the area where a lot of the so-called elites are the uh, very high upper class like people are dressed a lot nicer here as well just as an example you'll see people that are wearing more kind of like business attire smart casual yeah. smart casual a lot of people are working in office jobs nice looking gym nice looking gym here but yeah we're currently actually looking for a very particular cafe i marked it on google maps so oh we're very close it's just literally here and then to the right okay. but um, we're gonna go to a cafe we're gonna see if we can get a nice iced coffee or something like that just as a way to kick off our day we need some caffeine wow this place looks really cool. It's like, it's a nice building and they have a lot of designer brands and stuff like that. Yeah, like, but like predominantly workout gear. I really yep. want to go in. <laughs> workout gear is my jam, as you might know by now watching <laughs> our videos. Yeah, guys, we're going to try and cross this road without getting smacked by a tuk-tuk. Let's try not to get killed today. Uh, that's actually another thing, guys, about Colombo 7. They, we're n we have not been approached once by a tuk-tuk driver since we entered into Colombo 7, which is very, very yeah. interesting. And it's very, uh, if you go to Colombo 1, for example, around the Peta area or around Colombo Fort area in particular, those tuk-tuk drivers will literally take your t-shirt off <laughs> if they yeah. can. <laughs> they're very, very like on top of it. Like they were like, okay, why is that person standing there? Do they want a tuk-tuk? It's not a bad thing. It just gets annoying after a while. But here in Colombo 7, they just kind of leave you to yourself. It's a lot more, oh my God, look at this house. It's like super gated community here. That house looks absolutely gorgeous. It's totally white and it's like a three, three story building that's totally gated off. But um, 
not something that you're gonna see if you go somewhere. Like for example, we have a video series in the area called Delawa, which is close to Deniyaya, and you are not gonna see any houses that look like that out there. People live a much more simple lifestyle, that's 100% for certain. Hold on, I think we might have even walked past where we need to go. Just one sec. Next okay, one to next the right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually what I wanted to say as well. Um, it just generally, like, we haven't been approached once since we are, uh, since we entered Colombo 7, which I th think is very, very interesting because sort of leaving uh, Colombo 4, obviously our accommodation is there, so a lot of people were approaching us there, and then you. <laughs> Luke is confused with the directions. Oh, now it says we have passed. Yeah. Very confused, guys. Huh. Maybe it was down that road. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, being <laughs> approached several times in Colombo 4, and then as soon as you hit that sort of military check checkpoint, it's not a checkpoint, but like the military area, let's say it like that, where they have like all of the special task force and so on, uh, as soon as you enter that area, that just completely stops as if nobody all of a sudden... Whoa, oh, somebody Whoa. honked! That actually surprised me for the, the first, first time! Honk. That was the first honk! Um, yeah, so nobody really approaches you here, which I think is super interesting. There it is, Cafe Kumbuk. We want to go to Cafe Kumbuk. Apparently just the top of this road here. So. Interesting. It's interesting, guys, to navigate around Colombo 7. We're just using Google Maps and we, we've visited Colombo now. This is like the third or fourth time that we've been in Colombo since we have arrived in Sri Lanka because we kept coming back for like business reasons and stuff like that. And um, now we're here mostly just to explore and give you guys a couple of extra videos about the area. But we haven't been in Colombo 7 yet, so we're totally lost and we're totally new to this city all of a sudden. It's yeah, it's cool. actually nice having to use uh, Google Maps again. Feels like we're in a new city. And there we are, Cafe Kumbuk, Sri Lax. Yeah. Hello, how are okay, you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Dookie dookie. Let's have a look. Oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Let's have a look at Cafe Kumbuk, Sri Lax. Tis the season. I thought the, the tis the season was over. <laughs> Wow, this looks very nice, sort of tucked away. I instantly get like the hipster feeling, which is obviously going to be coming with Colombo 7. But I'm very excited to have some coffee. Ooh. Me too. Do you want to sit outside or inside? Let's sit here. Check out this cute, this cute little garden area here that we just came into. And we are at Cafe Kumbuk. And actually, uh, comparing the prices from here to Colombo 1 and Colombo 4, it's actually not that much difference, no? Weirdly enough, uh, Naomi just pointed out that the coffee is actually slightly cheaper than it is in Colombo 1, which is very interesting. We were expecting when we came to Colombo 7, like everybody kind of was like, oh, if you go to Cinnamon Gardens, it's going to be much more expensive, uh, much more affluent and stuff. And you can tell that the area itself is much much more uh, wealthy but the restaurants and stuff like that and we walk past a couple of menus and stuff as well in different places and it doesn't seem to be that much different price wise i think it's more so just the actual environment itself is more on the upper scale i guess you could call it yeah so i was just just to give you a comparison i was looking at the iced americano i would really like to get that one and it's uh, 650 rupees here and we have actually been in a cafe i believe two or three days ago in colombo one and we paid for the for the iced americano there we paid 790 rupees so it's actually cheaper here which i think is very interesting um, we're gonna see how good the cafe here the coffee here is and also we are kind of contemplating luke was saying he would like a breakfast burrito i'm contemplating an avocado toast so we might even get some food here. coffee is really good really strong coffee and that's actually um, a thing here in Sri Lanka me Naomi and I are very very big coffee lovers and um, when you come to Colombo something you will find is the coffee culture here in Colombo is amazing we actually ran into two locals that recognized us from our channel there the other day and they said the coffee culture in Colombo was massive just before the pandemic 
and then because of the pandemic a lot of uh, coffee shops and small cafes actually went out of business which is really sad but you still can see it's particularly actually here in Colombo 7 and Colombo 1 as well there's plenty of options for solid cafes and uh, we went for two iced Americanos and uh, we're not disappointed at all the coffee is really really good oh yeah it's gonna keep us awake for the rest of this video for sure look at how cute these little coasters are they brought us these like it's like a little tile and uh, you can see sort of different areas of uh, Sri Lanka and what they're typically known for and it's very fun to see because we have actually seen a lot of these areas and uh, it's like a, I would actually like to buy this it's like a little reminder of what we what we've done in Sri Lanka but they all seem to be ocean related so you won't have Ella or something like that on there but uh, yeah it's really nice to see okay guys so the food just came out and wow it looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie though breakfast burrito that I went for it's pretty small check it out here just for size reference probably looks kind of big because I'm used shooting on a wide-angle lens here but it's around the size of my face but um, I'm sure it's pretty delicious I can't wait to give it a try it comes with a side as well of these like little tiny baby potatoes so I think I'll try one of these oh yeah little like roasted potato nice seasoning on there and a nice bit of salt and it came with it looks like a sweet chili sauce so i can't wait to try that maybe i'll try like a potato dipped into that sauce that's really good it is a sweet chili sauce wow it goes perfectly with those potatoes super super tasty i'm gonna try this wrap as well make a big it's a, a breakfast burrito my god what is it filled with eggs it's filled with scrambled eggs there's some jalapenos in there i believe there's some bacon in here as well wow the taste of this is just out of this world i'm not even that mad that it's on the smaller side i'm really really enjoying this already naomi went for the typical hipster option i went with the typical hipster option uh, i got a avocado a smashed avocado on a sourdough bread oh my god check this out and uh, i got a poached egg as well let's move the cilantro out of the way maybe i don't know usually i like cilantro but today doesn't feel like a cilantro type of day let's break that egg up see if it's perfectly cooked and yes the egg yolk is just slowly coming out in like a waxy type of way Look, look, he's devouring his burrito. <laughs> it looks like, it seems like it's very tasty. I'm gonna try my food as well if I get this camera to stand up and look at me for a second. I'm gonna be civilized today and using a cutlery for a piece of bread, some egg on top, and in it goes. Mmm, oh yes. This is fantastic. It's really good. Now I wish we would have a little bit of salt for the avocado because I feel like a pinch of salt and then it would be the absolutely perfect avocado toast hipster breakfast for me. <laughs> One of the best ones. Now this cafe is amazing food-wise. Really good coffee, really good food. Um, if you're craving really well-made Western type of food, this is definitely the place to come here in Colombo 7. Um, but the portion sizes were a little bit small so if you're really really hungry maybe this is not the place to come but overall a very very positive experience super cute cafe and definitely worth checking out if you are in the area okay guys so that was cafe Kum kumbuk um, interesting name interesting place a little bit on the expensive side of life but that's kind of to be expected in this area i guess nonetheless very tasty food. Very friendly people as well. Thank you so much. Thank bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Have, bye. Nice Have a nice day. Same to you. But um, the total, grand total, if you will, of the bill was a little bit of a surprise. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like we were looking at the prices and it didn't seem so bad. Um, but then we, we got the bill and it was like, oh my God, this is 
a lot more than we expected. There was uh, a because there was a large service charge involved, which were which was not mentioned on the menu. At least I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, there was a service charge of like 500 rupees, which 10% uh, yeah. service charge. That's the same in a lot of places, believe it or not, especially tourist places. If you go to places like Unawatuna or Hikadua and stuff like that, you'll have pretty large service charges. But um, the food here was amazing. The portion sizes, as Naomi just said there, they are on the smaller side. So in terms of getting value for your money, if you are really hungry, obviously go somewhere else in Colombo because there's a lot of places in Colombo where you can quite literally fill yourself up for like 300, 400 rupees. Yeah. But the whole point of today's video, I, I guess, is just to show you guys the other side of what you can experience. If you do have a little bit of extra change in your wallet and you do want to have that more of a Western, like I suppose, luxurious feel and experience, come and check out uh, Cafe Kumbuk. Colombo 7, we're obviously gonna go and explore the rest of the area. There's apparently like a very large park as well, just up here, which we're on our way to. I believe it's uh, Victoria Park is what it translates to. I'm not too sure of how to pronounce the actual Singhala name. But we're gonna go check this park out and explore around the cinnamon gardens a little bit more. Let's go. Biharamaha Devi Park. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. <laughs> I was just talking. Um, it's a theater here that they have. Now it's called Nelum Kokuna Mahinda Raja Paksha Theater. Yeah. I, I just read that off of Google Maps anyway. Um, it is so large that walking past, I actually thought it was a stadium. Yeah. I we legitimately, I looked at this and I was like, oh my God, like what sort of a, I thought it was like a cricket stadium or a soccer stadium or something like that but uh, now it's like quite literally just a massive theater it would be really amazing to go and see a show in there it's so huge i would love to go in and get some tickets maybe for maybe they show some english <laughs> theater as well yeah yeah it looks very yeah, beautiful very squeaky breaks over there <laughs> <laughs> very beautiful building nice architecture very interesting looking but uh yeah guys we're on the look now for this park we're gonna go and explore a park which is never really the highlight of a video i guess but we want to check it out and see what the uh, park is like because popped up actually we look we're, we were doing some research or i was doing some research on things to do around colombo 7 and that was one of the one of the first things that came up was to check out victoria park so that's what we're that's what we're gonna do right now see what it's like then i think we're gonna go and explore the rest of the inner parts maybe check out some malls or something like that if there is some around here we have to... i think we have to cross here <laughs> Sorry, I always, uh, every time a bus comes by, you can see uh, a lot of school kids usually in the bigger buses, especially around noon time. So, school yeah. kids are so cute. They're always so cute. They are, they're always waving or saying hello and whatever. I, I just love them. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Ah, this area here is so cool. We just came into the park and as you can see, there's loads and loads and loads of school children everywhere. I feel like they were all just in the area because they were visiting the Independence Square. And uh, here in this park, actually, it looks like, I don't know if you can see it over there, you have like these little traffic lights and so on. It looks like it's sort of uh, training grounds for um, children to come and learn the rules of the street, right? That's what it looks like at the moment. Yeah, it literally looks like a, like a kid's driving school. You have like mini roads, mini traffic lights, tiny little stop signs and stuff like that. It's really nice. And there's also like thousands of school kids here right now. And they're all just kind of running amok, climbing the trees and doing whatever, just having fun. Very, very cool. This park is very nice and it's already giving me like a very warm feeling. It's like, seems to be just a spot where people around here just come and hang out and kind of connect a little bit with nature, even though you're in a massive city. Yeah, it's, I think it's so tiny because maybe it's like learning with bicycles or something like that. At least that's what we do in Germany. So I'm just copy and pasting German thoughts into the capital of Sri Lanka. Uh, 
So we, I, like we in Germany, we have these types of areas as well where you can just drive with your bicycle around, cycle around and basically learn how to use the traffic lights, how to cross and... Oh, there's some horses over there. Why are there horses? Want to have a look at the horses? Aren't you highly allergic to horses? I am highly allergic to horses, yeah. I should not go close, but maybe Luke can go <laughs> a little bit closer. Uh, I'm just seeing you now, there's also like small train tracks here. Maybe they have like a cho little choo-choo train or something. Could be. That goes Never around know. the park. Looks like a very old, probably not in use anymore, train track. <laughs> very interesting. Maybe though. it's one of those for the kids. It could be. You know, the small one. Because the train tracks are very close together. It looks like it's not a big one. Oh, no. The sand is too high up to the train tracks. I think the sand is too high up to the train tracks. It's actually not in use anymore. Luke was right. <laughs> I don't like to say that. It's interesting to see while you're walking through the park, you see kind of like a couple of skyscrapers that are poking over the park and it gives off the vibe of like maybe Central Park in New York. Now, obviously, I think this park itself is considerably smaller than Central Park is, but similar atmosphere. You can see all of the sort of hyper-developed areas of Colombo surrounding the park. And then inside the park, it's totally peaceful, green and quiet. So very, very cool. It's really cool. It's just like a big open green oasis almost. Loads and loads of beautiful trees, interesting plants. Very well designed for people to just come and walk around and enjoy their day. There is, as I said, literally thousands of school kids that are, they seem to be here just enjoying some lunch. Maybe they're on a school trip or something like that. I think they were visiting Independence Square, maybe. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But um, the vibe, the atmosphere, everything here is just very, very calm. Typically, when you think of Colombo as a city and when you think of any really major city in anywhere in Asia, you kind of get this image in your head. I know I do anyways, as a Westerner, I get this image in my head of just chaos. So like people running across the street, tuk-tuk drivers, cars, mm -hmm. overpopulation, you know, scooters everywhere, etc. But that is not the case here. Is this like, if someone told you that you're in the capital city of Sri Lanka right now, I don't think that I would even believe it. It's very, very, just sort of tranquil and um, very peaceful. It's just, it's very um, enjoyable experience, especially after the, the coffee. I know that we, we paid a lot of money to enjoy that uh, food and coffee, but the whole experience of Colombo 7 and the Cinnamon Garden area, it's just very, very nice. Let's put it that way. It's just nice. It's so um, beautiful. Yep. I cannot believe my eyes how beautiful it is around here. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so different from the rest of Col the rest of Colombo is very very nice as well. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. But it's just very different here. If yeah. you would tell me like we are in Colombo right now and uh, I wouldn't have walked here myself, <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were saying actually we we traveled um for like four months in mexico and mexico city uh there is a park as well called bosque de chapultepec in the center of mexico city and this again very very similar large greenery beautiful layout and then the backdrop of the hyper developed buildings the commercial buildings and look at this horse there's horses. horses everywhere here you don't have horses in chapultepec though yeah yeah <laughs> very very unique experience for sure definitely not something that we're going to forget anytime soon but i think we're going to walk off the food that we had um enjoy this park a little bit and then we're going to show you around some more of colombo 7 this is going to be a pretty long video actually yeah. but we're going to show you around some more of colombo 7 maybe go to a shopping mall i know there's one shopping mall that's called like arcade or something like that about to walk through a giant group of school kids, so I'll just keep recording and see what happens. It's always so much chaos with the kids. Yeah, yeah. So, so lively. There's a kid riding a horse. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, I think that's what the horses are for. You can rent them to ride them around. Oh. Maybe, but I think just for the kids because they're like ponies, like smaller horses. Yeah, true, true, true. There she comes. Ah. I'm so allergic. I'm gonna go somewhere uh. else. <laughs> Look at the horsey. Cool. It's a nice little experience. Riding children. Oh, nice. Yeah, Friday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the children are riding. Cool. Ah. Today holiday? No, no, today school comes the school students come the lunch of the park. Ah, ah cool. Day after tomorrow is like a holiday school. Friday. Oh yeah. Friday, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holidays, yeah. Nice. I'm a gardener here. Yeah. Ah. Five years I'm a chief gardener. Where are you from? Ireland. Welcome to Sri Lanka. <laughs> Ireland. Thank you. Ireland, Irish, US, oh United Kingdom. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty uh, much. Well Ireland not the, set, the, no, the, side, the side Ireland, is different, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. Irish. Irish? Ireland and Irish too. No, you have uh, Northern Ireland and yeah. the Republic of Ireland. Republic is not UK, Northern Ireland, not UK. UK. Yeah, yeah. Northern yeah, yeah. country all together, United Kingdom. Yes, yes, yes <laughs> exactly. I know, I know. I'm 35 years gardener. I know my friend London, Summerside Forest and all that. Oh, nice. I'm a botanical master, 35 years. Wow, cool. See the, my ID in the garden? 35 years gardener. No, check. 25 years. Oh wow, you now, look so young. Now 61 <laughs> old my wife. <laughs> you look so young. <laughs> you still have great yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, look. My photograph London everywhere. English <laughs> gardener. Old name Queen Victoria Park, new name Viara Oh, nice. Ooh. 1940 is like an independent new change name Viara Mahadeva. Nice. Ah, yeah, I'm a beautiful. botanical master. I know all the tree, 5,552 trees. Wow. Number one tree. <laughs> Very popular tree, madam. Cinnamon tree. Cinnamon tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cinnamon. Yes, like yes, of all course. the world exports cinnamon powder and they stick like a dry, no? Yes. Very, very, very popular flanker. Like Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to meet you. So Thank welcome. you so what much. What about you want to see the flying foxes? Ah, it's okay. It's what okay. Do you want? Thank you. Table, we just walk around. Yeah, yeah. Around. Thank, Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. All good. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Trying to sell a tour. Yeah. I'm very sure. very nice guy, but he's very obviously trying to just get us on involved in some sort of a tour. I'm sorry, but we've had enough of that happen to us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is this. I feel like there is this the saying, uh, especially in Colombo, where they take you for a ride. I don't yeah, know. I heard yeah. that so many times. And I feel like that was an attempt to take us for a ride. Yep. Uh, I don't know if he knew that we were recording, but uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's nothing, uh, to be honest, these types of guys, they're not, I wouldn't even, I would not even refer to these types of people as like quote unquote scammers. They're just literally regular people. He actually was, it seemed like he was just a gardener here. And maybe something he does on the side is just bring tourists around and show them a little bit of the trees and stuff like that and then asks for a little bit extra money so it's funny but just keep your wits about you guys when you are in Colombo if you do not want to do something just be straight up and just be yeah. like no thanks and then just walk off and you're not gonna get hassled at all it's usually this type of feeling that you get in your gut area and your stomach area yep. you're like uh, you know if somebody is very nice and very honest and whew, a fly nearly attacked my eye and um, you, you you're just happy to see them and whatever but sometimes you get this weird feeling in your gut and then you know it's time to go it's usually when people approach you yeah. if someone just someone just randomly approaches you while you're like walking through a park and sparks up a conversation you are already kind of put on high alert i know we are anyways because we've been traveling now quite extensively and it happens in every country even in parts of europe if you travel somewhere like Prague or Rome or wherever and someone just comes up to you and just starts talking to you about some tourist attraction or something like that, you should immediately be aware that it's likely going in the direction of handing over a little bit of cash for the information that they're that they're going to share with you. So just which, keep that in mind. Which is not always a bad thing. Yeah, like if you're a tourist and you're looking for in, uh, extra information about that topic, yeah. then there's nothing wrong with it but if you are like us and you just want to film and show people like you guys that are watching the channel you just want to show what the real and honest experience of stuff is and you don't want any of sort of bias mixed in and stuff like that plus we just spent like five and a half thousand rupees on a lunch so we're not really in the mood to 
fork over another few thousand rupees. So we're gonna continue and explore. This park is really cool though, but let's go to the next destination somewhere else in Colombo 7. Currently walking through the area called Kurunduwata. We're on our way to a shopping mall that supposedly is here in Colombo 7 as well. So we're excited to check that out. But this area here in particular, there's a lot of high commissions, a lot of ambassadors. We walked past the ambassador of Kuwait. Um, supposedly, I'm guessing that's where he stays when he comes and visits Sri Lanka. But there's a lot of private gated communities here. Just have a look at this one right here. High walls, high gates, very uh, private areas and plenty of security around, plenty of security officers, highly armed. And so it's a very interesting experience to be able to walk through these areas. We did not experience this at all the last few times that we've been in Colombo. So it's very interesting to see, gives you to a totally different taste, I guess, of what Colombo is like. Today has certainly shifted our perspective quite a lot in terms of seeing how the well-off people um, that do exist in Sri Lanka as well. Just how they live and just what the setup is like. We were saying if we had have booked an accommodation, for example, in the Colombo 7 area, and we had have stayed around the Colombo 7 area, you would get a totally different experience than if you were to stay, for example, in Colombo 1 or Colombo 4. You'll see the city in totally differently. Uh, if you were to just stay in that particular area and this area here that we're walking through is super super interesting and as I said it just gives you that atmosphere that uh, people here don't mess around when it comes to privacy and there's certainly a lot of money going around here too. So we made our way to a place called Arcade Independence Square. Now it says that it's a, it says that it's a shopping mall on Google Maps but it's basically like a really old white building um, that is not much going on inside. There are some shops, there's a Burger King, um, but other than that, this is what you're looking at. This is actually, it looks really, really incredibly cool. Is this like Dutch architecture or Portuguese? I don't know I don't what know. sort of influence this has. I would probably say Dutch. Yeah, it looks pretty not Dutch. 100% and uh, on the inside it, it does have some stores but it's more like designer stores so like yeah. you have a fossil and a hugo boss tommy hilfiger stuff like that but the majority of the shops are actually empty um i don't know maybe this was really amazing before the pandemic and then it possibly sort of yeah. down or something i don't know but the architecture itself of the building is really cool uh, inside it's very very dark so i'm gonna try and use the light here from the windows this is basically the inside. There's actually a lot of stores that are, they don't even really look like they're open. It's very quiet as well. There is like some like a little bit of music playing. Basically nobody here as well. So we feel kind of alone. There was like a little bit of a photo shoot happening inside. Yeah, like a wedding photo shoot. But this is like the situation here. It's kind of just more of like, I suppose what you would call a boutique type of mall. Not what we were expecting, to be honest. I was thinking to myself, oh, we're gonna find another mall that's, you know, similar to one golf face or something like that that we can show you guys. Um, but this garden out here is really, really cool. Yeah, this is pretty nice. <laughs> nice, calm, <laughs> Sorry, open so space. Hot. Yeah, yeah. Over there they have an Under Armour shop. That would be maybe something nice to look at. Under Armour store, yeah, yeah. But um, this garden here, as I said, very cool. It says, please keep off the grass. It's very well kept, well put together. But, um, Are you guys like that as well, that when you see a sign that says, please keep off the grass, you're like... Yeah. You really want to go and stand on the grass. Step on the grass. <laughs> just for the sake of stepping on the grass. But yeah, guys, I hope that this video has given you some way or some insight into Colombo 7 and sort of what you can expect to find in and around here. There's tons of cafes, loads of options for different restaurants and loads of different activities that you can partake in, such as the plenty parks and stuff like that. Um, look at these birds. Those are like the pigeons of Colombo. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> literally everywhere. But um, yeah, guys, that was Colombo 7. Um, a little bit of an anticlimactic finish, but yeah. <laughs> nonetheless, 
that is the case. We went to a mall that was marked as a mall on Google Maps the other day and it was basically a collapsing building. <laughs> um, so yeah, just keep in mind when you are going to a mall, try and look up the images on Google Maps before you go. Because we went expecting to, to uh, do like a laundry service thing and we went in and it was literally just a guy and his ironing board. So this place is obviously just a uh, very different, very uh, special place and it gives you sort of a different uh, feel to a lot of the other parts of Colombo, I guess. Really beautiful day, very hot day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a hot and heavy day today. It's very overcast, very hot. We've been walking now for quite literally around three hours because yeah. Colombo 7 is not a small area. It's actually a pretty large district. But uh, yeah, guys, for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Sri Lankan adventure. Bohomastuti for watching. Stuti. Nandri. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.